All right, boys and girls, I decided to take my small sanding wheel on the Dremel and take the electrolyte return channels, make them a little bit wider as well. They're spaced far enough apart and the opening inside the ring is still small enough where it's not going to uh, permit much current leakage. What this does do for me is it allows me some, some play in the alignment of the hole to the groove so that I don't need to make it as precise. There we go. You can see I can, I can got almost a quarter of an inch that I could be off either side and still be aligned with the electrolyte return channel. So here you can see now at this location, the line that's drawn on the edge of the spacer ring is centered in the electrolyte return channel on the left side of the tube. And I've taken my Sharpie and drawn a couple of marks on the top of the ring, in between which is where I'm going to be drilling my holes to allow the gas to exit into the channel at the top of the T-cell. And here's the finished result. These are the two lines that I've drawn on the edge of the ring where I made my holes. And if you look at the edge here, you can see I've actually only drilled two holes, one on either side of the of the line that I draw that I drew, and then I took the drill bit and dragged it side to side across the two holes to actually create the slot in between and create one continuous opening. Okay, so in review, I have one shim back in the uh, in the tube to show you how the alignment of the electrolyte return channel lines up. It is right here. It lines up with this groove cut in the uh, in one side of the three inch tube. The next shim will line up with this groove and then back to here and back and forth so that the leakage currents have to travel in a zigzag pattern going between the plates and traverse the entire distance between between the channels in order to jump between the plates and we know that it won't do that and then showing you how the slot that's been cut lines up with the channel well, slip down inside but you can still see it pretty well that lines up with the channel that's been cut at the top of the tube and that is where the HHO gas exits the top of the chamber and out through the bubbler. Do you remember I've been saying that the electrolyte was backing up into the bubbler reservoir because of back pressure being created by the small gas outlet in the top of the original design for the for the inverted T cell I just went to reassemble the plates back into the left side of the cell and I started looking at the plates and I can actually see a, a definite visual indication of exactly how much fluid was displaced and how how much of the uh, plate surface area became inactive because of that I want to show you folks this right here is the neutral plate that was closest, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that's about the best shot right there, is the neutral plate that was closest to the positive electrode at the center of the cell. And you can see very clearly, right here, is where the water level came to when the cell was in operation. All right? That's the cell, that's the plate that was closest to the center the neutral plate. As you progressively get further and further out, here's the next place out, plate out. Look how much more of the plate was exposed because now this plate chamber 
was trying to push the gas that it created plus the gas ahead of it out, so it, it displaced twice as much fluid. Continuing on. Here's the third neutral, away from the center. Now we're all, all, way, all the way down to here. This much of the plate was not being utilized for the production of gas in the, in the uh, cell when it was restricting the gas. And lastly, this is the last neutral plate next to the negative electrode. Now we're almost half exposed. And finally, the negative electrode. Look at that. The only part of the plate that was actually doing anything was this part down here that has brown residue on it and from here up nothing. All it was doing was trying to push gas out but the pressure buildup behind that small orifice was preventing it from going out. That's why I'm redesigning the cell that's why I'm enlarging the gas outlet and that's why I'm not going to bother uh, enlarging the electrolyte return orifice at the bottom in between each plate. I am very glad I rebuilt this cell today.